Mom, do you think I have big lips? <laughs> yes, honey. Are you sure, though? Because I could just rock the fish face all day, you know? <laughs> Sweetheart, stop it. You look ridiculous. You don't need to do that. You'll be fine. Well, thanks, but wish me luck for the beauty inspection. You won't need luck, honey. I'm sure you'll pass. Help me. I have super thin lips. Shoot. <sighs> what am I going to do? You remember the Kylie Jenner lip challenge? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so just go into the science lab, get like a little container and... Girl, do not do that. That looks really weird. Okay, you know what I mean. Beauty inspection in five minutes. Hurry. <sighs> I'm going. Next. All right, stand still while the beauty scanner scans your face. Pass. All right, you're good to go. Next. Hey, you passed the beauty inspection. Yeah, your idea worked. We got a runner. Please, I swear my lips are not that... Bring her to the van. Where do you think they take them? I don't know, but I don't think I want to know either. Same. Bangs? Yes, I'm safe. But I'm not. You helped me, so now I'm going to help you. Next in line for the beauty check. Pass. You're clear. Get out of here. Hi, oh, what happened? The beauty standard happened. Apparently, bangs are in style now. Who cut them for you? <laughs> oh gosh, this has definitely backfired. What? Nothing, it's just you don't really look as good as you used no, no, no. to. Mom, don't worry. These are actually fake. They're, uh, they're clip-on, see? Oh, thank goodness. It was actually my friend's idea. She has the same color hair as me, and she carries these clip-on bangs in her backpack, and... The beauty standard changed. Oh, well, that was perfect timing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wait a minute, I just realized if the beauty standard is no bangs, then my best friend is in danger. Beauty check in ten minutes. I have to get to class. Time for the beauty check. Well, actually, I was looking for my best friend, Tara. She has hair like me, and... There are other people in line. Don't move while we scan you. Passed. Next. Help me take this one to the van. Uh, yes, sir. That's my friend. No, please, you can't take her. Miss, let us do our job. <laughs> Worry about yourself. The beauty standard is changing again. I brought you food, hun. No, mom. I'm not hungry. How am I supposed to eat knowing that my best friend is locked away somewhere? Sweetie, you gotta eat or you're gonna get too thin. I don't care. And why won't this stupid thing just load? The system is down right now, but it'll load. Help. Someone help us. Did you hear that? It sounded like it was coming from the vents. Mom, please tell me you heard that. That was Tara's voice, right? Oh, no, sweetie. I didn't hear a thing. You must be imagining things. No, but I heard... Honey, you witnessed something very traumatic with your friend, and I think you might be experiencing some PTSD right now. <laughs> Sweetie? No, I don't care what it is. I'm not looking. I'm not doing it. This one is so easy to do. I'll help you. See, that wasn't so bad. No, let me get out the beauty scanner so you can show that you passed the inspection. Whoa, wait a minute. How do you have one of those? Only people that work for the system have one of those. Well, lucky me found this one on the ground. Now stay still. Good girl. Passed. Honey, I'll be right back. Please, can anyone hear me? I hear her again. It's not real. It's not real. Happy birthday, darling. How many days do you have, darling? Only three days. No, we must find you a husband at once. Ready to choose? No, this isn't fair. I don't know any of these men. You can get to know them after you've been wed. Now pick one. All right, let's see. Not him. But definitely not him. What? Next. But I. And let me guess, this one has a great personality. <laughs> you have offended all the princes. Wow. That was one brutal elimination. And who might you be? Prince Nathaniel. But don't worry. I'm not here to ask you for your hand in marriage. Then why are you here? Mostly for entertainment. Aren't you from the rival kingdom? Indeed I am, and I can't wait to tell my father how hot-headed your daughter is. Aubrey, don't. All the princes rejected you. Good, I do not wish to marry any of them. If you do not wed in three days, you shall die. Are you certain that if I don't marry in three days, I shall die? Yes. You have to say yes to the first man who proposes. No, that isn't fair. Life isn't fair, darling. I can't do this. You must! I will not lose you like I lost your father! You must find a husband, do you understand? Oh, mother, I think my corset is a bit too tight. Aubrey, to meet a good suitor, you must look as fitted as possible. Hello, princess. Would you care to dance? That was fun. Shall we dance again? Oh, actually, I'm a bit thirsty. Say no more. I shall fetch you a drink, your highness. Pardon me. I didn't mean to startle you. You weren't invited. 
The invitation said all eligible princes were welcome. Are you alright? My corset, it's... it's too tight. Corset, it's... it's too tight. Hang on, I'll help you. Is that better? Yes, thank you. Princess? What exactly was happening over here? It is not what it looks like. I was simply helping her with her dress. You two were being scandalous. No! We don't even like each other. I'm so telling everyone. You can't just go around spreading rumors about us. Hmm. You could marry her and restore your dignity, or... Is there a second option? You could also pay me to keep quiet. <laughs> I can't believe we paid her so much money. This is all your fault. My fault? You're the one who... Princess, there you are. I must ask you a question. Will you, Princess Aubrey, marry me? I... Your mother insisted I ask you tonight. So, what do you say, Princess? Yes. Excellent. We shall be married tomorrow, and you shall be saved from death. Nathaniel, why are you here? I came to congratulate you on your engagement. You know, for a guy who doesn't like me, you sure show up at my palace a lot. Are you implying that I might have feelings for you? I would do no such thing, Your Highness, unless, of course, it was true. I think you've mistaken my generosity for affection. You are far from generous. Oh, really? Yes, really. I'll have you know I can be very generous. All right, then prove it. All right. I will. You kissed me. I... I would never. I am a gentleman. A gentleman does not kiss another man's bride. You have to marry me. No, Aubrey, I can't. Is it because we are rivals? No. I have to go. Now, after we are wed, I want the princess taken care of. I shall pay for you to do this. We have postponed the wedding long enough. He is trying to kill me. Enough of your nonsense. You shall be married tonight. And do you take Prince Frederick to be your husband? I... Stop the wedding. That man is a fraud. Nathaniel. Someone get this fool out of here. The only fool here is you. Prince Frederick is not who he claims to be. In fact, he's not a prince at all. It's true. You were just using her to become royalty. No! I am a man of honor. No, Frederick. What you are is a word I dare not say in front of the queen. Aubrey, I'm so sorry. You are almost out of time. Who shall you marry? Marry me. But I thought... I made a vow to never marry because I didn't believe in love. That was until... Until what? Until I met you. So I ask you, Aubrey... Will you join our kingdoms together and marry me? Yes. I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss. It's what my dad would want. You picked the prince, right? Of course. Good, because I'm not having you marry a pirate. They can't be trusted. Dad was a pirate, and you married him. We don't speak of your father. You know that. Marianne, why do you have the pirate's mark? I don't know. Girl, don't lie to me. All right, fine. I picked the pirate, but I don't know why everyone is so afraid of them. They seem kind of cool. I don't think I can be friends with you. What? Why? Because I'm not going to be associated with someone who wants to marry a pirate. They're dangerous, and now that you have that mark, they're going to come for you. Mom, I'm home. Mom? <gasps> Hello. We're looking for a girl with the pirate's mark. Take off that cloak. Looking for a girl with the pirate's mark. Take off that cloak. I don't think that's... The captain wasn't asking. I knew it. I could sense her mark. Take her to the ship, boys. Yes, captain. Wait, what? Welcome aboard the ship. The Blue Pearl. Legend says when you touch your soulmate, your mark will disappear. So let's see which one of us gets to marry you. Raise your sword if you think the girl is your soulmate. All right, make a line. Hello, miss. Let's see if it's me. Ah, but that's all of us. What about him? Father, do you think I could try? I told you to stay below deck. Ignore my son. He's no pirate. Wait, where'd you get that necklace? My father. Captain, doesn't that look just like the one that the... The pirate king had. Tell me, what is your father's name? You know what? I can already tell you're his daughter, which means you're the lost pirate princess. I can already tell you're his daughter, which means you're the lost pirate princess. My father was a pirate, but he wasn't a king. 
Why do you speak of him in past tense? Because he's dead. Who told you that? My mother. I see. So she was the sea witch who took you away. Don't call her that. She said she wanted to protect me from him. No, your father wanted you to have a royal life. And she wanted you to have a normal one. At least that's what he told me. Wait a minute, you knew my father? Yes, we were great friends. Why don't I take you to him? You would do that? Of course. After all, you are royal blood. Princess, you have to get off the ship. Right now. What? Why? Because my father lied to you. He's not taking you to see your father, him, and all the other crewmates. They're cursed. The only way to break the curse is to sacrifice a royal. He wants to kill me. I want to help you, but we have to jump off the ship. Your mark, it's gone. That means I'm your... Well, soulmates. I don't even know your name. Oh, right. My name is William. I have a canoe we can escape. Not so fast. You take my son. I'll take the girl. No! William! Where are we? We're on Skull Island, Princess. In the exact spot we were all cursed. How much of my blood do you need? To break the curse, we need all of it. Father, no! You stay away from my daughter. Dad? I told you he was alive. Take all of his crewmates into custody. Turn around. Wait, I was trying to help her! No, wait. Spare him, please. That's my soulmate. Gods, leave him. Yes, your majesty. Dad, I thought that you were dead. How did you find me? I gave you that necklace for a reason, Mo. It's a tracker. I see you chose to remain a princess. Well, Marianne, would you still like to marry a pirate? Yes. How would you like to be married? 